Hi Scorpio. It's me, Brandy from Brandy's Story and I. This is your general for May of 2022. However it falls in. Sometimes I'll get time frames, whatever. This um, can be love, life, career. Uh, things usually go hand in hand, okay? Free from judgment and free to love. We have had some type, it, this whole, I've only done five readings, okay? And literally every time I'm picking up the Pluto, challenging belief systems exactly is what this is telling me. And then what do you feel underneath that? Trying to juggle too many things and what too many people want, trying to help everyone and therefore putting off what maybe you need you want and i'm scared i'm scared of how people is going to come at me if i choose myself and the fact is she's wearing like a traditional aspect like attire for the office right like i said there's so many scenarios that could literally come in a general reading okay um so it's like you've been working, working, working to pay the bills, to support the family. Where's the time to do what I want? Are they going to think I'm a selfish person if I do what I want? You know, like it's the time. I've been here. I have a lot of placements in Scorpio too. Right? <sighs> Let's skip the intuitive tarot. Spirit Archangels and Guides. Not yet. You flew out. I understand. The Empress was there side business side hustle why can't you make the money okay here's a here's the thing people say they don't have time all the time but you do you just have to make the time here's what I mean say you get off work you get the kids and normally the time that you would sit down to watch Netflix or something but why can't you read a do-it-yourself book why can't you take a Udemy course you know you can do those things at your pace there's time just what are you cutting out to advance? What are you cutting out for the side project? There's time. I get it. Alright. Oh, okay, two. Okay. Business, business, as usual. We got the Ace of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups. It's like the universe is going to present you with something that catches your eye. You know? Oh. Well, I don't know. What what would my friends say? What would my family say? I, I, I don't know what I want. Yeah, you do. It's what you want. Are you going to make the time to take it? Yeah, you do. You know, maybe you're with someone and you really like their family. And, you know, are you built all this together? What would people say? Would they think you were selfish? What would they say? I say that. Uh, we have the higher font showing up here. Higher font. It's all about the belief system, tradition, um, knowledge, marriage, commitment. If it were to come in reverse, it would be rebellious. You know. King of Swords. Will of Fortune. They're trying to bring something back around that you did want once upon a time. And it's like, since we've grown up and all, where is our childish aspect? Where is our wishful thinking? You know, our hopes, our dreams, our wishes. I'm trying to be logical here. Like, I can't do that. There's nothing logical. Why? You can build a business and work another one. I've done it several times. High Priestess. Seven of Cups. You know what you need to do, but you're letting the outside ex exterior influence you. Scorpio. Yep, Nine of Swords wanted to fall out. What else fell out? The Devil, the Four of Swords. You feel bonded to material items. You feel bonded to a person. Even though it's not spiritually aligning with you. Even though... This is not spiritual fulfilling. You feel you have to, which is based off 
things that you actually don't need to survive. These are all <sighs> people, yes, like to judge off the appearance of what they see. What do you drive? What do you live in? Okay, I can live in a hut and make it fucking fantac uh, fantabulous looking because I'm going to stylize it. It's going to have my vibe. It doesn't mean I have to have Michael Kors up in it. I've never, no offense to any of you ladies out there, but I have seriously, maybe it's a tourist thing, never grasp the concept of you spending $15,000 on a purse but don't have $15,000 in it. That's exactly what I'm picking up here. We all want the aesthetic to please other people. We don't want them to judge us. So therefore, you're not doing what you want or need to do. It literally has always blown my mind. My mother has been a waitress and bartender pretty much all of her life because she likes to gab. She went to school to like teach and such, but she likes to be on the move, even though she has MS, whatever. There was a woman who put her, I think it was like an $8,000 purse in the floor of Pizza Hut. And it was busy. And she put it in the way of the waitress lady. And my mother spilled soda on it. And this woman told her that she owed her tons of money. And blah, 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 blah. My mom was like, why on God's earth would you put an $8,000 purse in the floor unless you wanted to get rent in a Pizza Hut? No less. I'll dry clean it for you. But no thanks. She you know what to say to my mom? We are from the same tree. <laughs> we are from the same tree. I have many degrees now. I don't need to boast about them. But since this reading is going that way, free for judgment, I am a hairstylist since 2008. I have my associates. I have my bachelor's. I do photography. I do plus size model. I do. There is time, folks. I do humane work. I pretty much take care of four people one timeline because I get no help here. There's time. Just like I'm making time to make these readings. Because some people, whether it only gets 10 views or a thousand views, they need this message. I'm here. I'm here. We have the Ten of Pentacles. The Prince of Swords. Learning something new to be prosperous and happy. Happy house, happy spouse, happy spouse, happy house. Not happy wife, happy life. Everyone's included in this scenario. When you're happy, everyone's happy because everyone's thriving. There's some aspect to it. Ah, the sun. Thank you, universe. Thank you. The sun. Learning, growing, spirituality, happiness, romance. I mean, you're hanging on. You're very guarded because you don't want to change. So much anxiety from it. Afraid of letting someone else down in this scenario. No one's taking... No one... Everyone's caught up in their own crap. Like, seriously. I don't know why people put so much anxiety on other people and their thoughts. And I don't know. You know, but what do you feel? What do you feel? It's like you're juggling all this, but your mind still wanders to this person, this thing, this business. What do you want? What do you want? The fact is, the hands are standing out very, very much to me. Right? The hands. Like, everyone else has got their hand out. And you're just so used to... Okay. 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 But no one's... No one's putting anything in yours. Universe is trying. Universe is trying. It's like kind of out of reach because you allow it to be. This is about the senses. I can tell. Like, just intuitively, it's not picked up. This is about someone's senses. Like, you're missing the touch. And you've been so robotic. Mm. This represents death uh, in a traditional aspect. Number four, birth. Birth, birth, birth. It's here. Commitment. Oops. So it needs reversed. We're going to read these. Someone is emotionally manipulative to get what they want or try to please other people. Okay. So hot today. <sighs> what is it? 
Sorry, guys. Give me a moment, please. The sun shines upon a plain in England where stands the ancient hinge in the distance of the grove of, of the birch tree. It's time for a new start, perhaps an actual birth or at least a metaphorical one. An old phase is passing away and a new one begins. Even with this new beginning, turn page, has its root in your, roots in your deepest history in your past life. There may be some labor involved, but it's labor that bears fruit. It's associated with fertility. Sensuality is what's standing out to me. Right. And motherhood. Maybe a new energy and a romance. The family. The home. You could be giving birth to a creative project. Whatever it is, celebrate. Prepare for the wonderful growth and opportunities that are about to come. See how they'll always back me up some way? Then we have commitment. But it was in the reverse. Some kind of separation or break in contract may be at hand. A total severing of ties. Like a divorce, a job loss, or it could be less intense. Such as a temporary separation or layoff. It could also indicate an investment that fails or a home purchase or sell that falls through. Whatever shape it takes, it's an emotional component that underlies the experience. It will be important to vent your feelings and deal with the sense of loss. But try not to think too catastrophically. The loss or separation may seem difficult now. But you do have the power to deal with it and get back on your feet again. Sometimes this energy indicates a physical separation. You may have to travel or relocate for business or personal reasons. In this, any other kind of physical or emotional distance, make sure you retain some balance in your life. Make sure you retain some balance in your life, Scorpio. Also consider that you have forgotten your own priority of self. Do you put yourself last and dismiss your own needs? If so, it's time to start committing to yourself and try not to lose sight of the greatest partnership of all. Your connection to the eternal, powerful, and valuable self that is your soul. Do I need to say anymore? 